happy new year everybody happy new year welcome to 2024 we made it to 2024 i am shamel jackson author speaker coach entrepreneur teacher all the things uh, i'm the owner of breaking it down with c jackson where i help single christian women understand their identity in christ so they can have the capacity to overcome rejection be confident in the woman God called them to be and fulfill their God-given purpose. I'm the author of Weight, Women, and Intimate Tales. Here it is right here. And then I'm the author of Girl, Forget All That, Moving Forward After a Relationship Ends. Can I just say, it has been a busy Saturday morning, but I am here. Um, but it's been a busy Saturday um, already, and it's only 12 something. That's because... I have been trying to do all the things this morning. And as you know, sometimes things don't go um, as planned. So I just try to just go with the flow. But I'm here. I made it a little bit, run a little bit late, a little bit late. But I am here. Um, it's been a minute since I've been live. I do want to know, um, just going for it, if you all want me to go live, how often you would like to see me go live, um, my schedule can get kind of funky and it's going to get kind of funky in the next couple of weeks. So I kind of have to see, I used to have a goal to go live every week, but I don't think that works for me or it, I, don't, I don't know if it works for everybody. I should say that. Um, so I don't know. And then it used to be where people, it was a thing where you go live at a certain time every week. Hey, the cat podcast. Um, you go live every week. Um, at a certain time, some people have that thing, and then that's that's good. But sometimes everyone can do that. Um, but when well, they try to be as consistent as possible, and when they can't make it, they can't make it. And that's what you should do um, if you are uh, have that schedule in mind. But anyway, um, we made it to the new year, but I do want to talk about 2023 um, just a little bit. I got on this blood line breaker shirt because that's what 2023 was all about. Um, and it will continue, well, all about for me, um, just kind of like breaking patterns that you see in your uh, family line. Um, just, yeah, that's what I was doing and still doing, um, as we speak. So, but 2023, um, a lot happened. I got to see, that was the main thing being breaking generational, um, um, patterns that are negative. And then the book, girl, forget all that. Now, if I didn't do anything else last year. I was going to publish this book, publish this book. If I didn't do anything else, I was going to publish this book. And so it was very hard to do that. So many changes happened. I changed um, book cover designers. But actually, I used the same book cover designer as the first book, first break. Oh, I was going to show y'all the first, um, uh, not breaking it out, the first girl, forget all that book. The same person who did that cover um, did the cover I have now. And it's plain purpose format. So a lot of things got shifted around. Just all the things. Y'all, I actually was going to put my picture on front of the book cover. But that didn't work out. So anyway, <laughs> the book is here. Uh, it's available on my website. Both of my books are available on my website. A lot, a few people have started to purchase the first book I published, which is great. Um, and so you can purchase the books there. Or you can go on Amazon to purchase it. But if you purchase a copy from me, it's signed. And then um, I get... I send out bookmarks to the um with the books, so that's a plus. And I have something new I'm going to show you. I'm waiting to the end to do that. Some things I've been working on um well last year. So there's that. Um, I did want to talk about. And I meant to talk about this before the year ended, but I didn't have no time. So I'm gonna talk about it now. But if you've been following me at least a year and a half, you would know that. Um, I was in a grief, I was going through grieving, uh, well, tough grieving season back in 2022 and then a little bit into 2023. So I was thinking around Christmas time last year, yeah, 2023, that I'm in a different space than I was the year before, which is a good thing. Um, because they say time heals our wounds, but it's what you do with that time really, um, in that time, just cause time has went by, it doesn't mean that um you are healed so it's things that you do but um 
time went by so fast. I just I had a video of day after Christmas 2022 of how I was feeling um during that grieving season and I can't show well I have to take a video of that video for y'all to see it but for some reason it would not upload anywhere so I maybe it's just for me to look at and reflect on I don't really know but I was just listening to it and comparing to how I feel now like I don't know where near where I was in that particular video and then two different things trigger you so just one day you may be perfectly fine i'm talking about when you're grieving one day you may be perfectly fine then the next just some it could be a song it can be a memory it could be anything just can trigger it but um i think it's all about how you handle that moment and how you cope with it but anyway that was that um i did not learn how to swim last year if you I, that was a goal i did not learn how to swim last year but this year it's gonna be different because i have um, access to uh, y'all got a gym membership. I ain't never had a gym membership, so so I had no, I ain't got no choice but to learn how to swim now. So I'm going to make that a goal this year for real, and I'm going to learn how to swim. And I still ain't learn how to do my makeup like I want to, so I'm not even going to say I'm learning this year. It is, it is what it's going to be. What it's going to be? Hey Jerry, hey Rolanda, and um, but yeah, so swimming is a, definitely on top of the list. Uh, speaking of, the, well, what I was talking about earlier today, it's been a, a interesting morning because your girl was trying to bake stuff this morning before she started this live. Because I knew if I didn't bake it before the live, it wasn't going to happen today. And I was determined to do it today. And so, um, but anyway, I'm always baking stuff, um, especially during holidays. So another goal that I have is to go to a baking class, which that's been on my list for a while. And so they actually have some in my city, but they are, and that's free. That's one that's free, but the spots got filled up so quick, of course. So I'm on a waiting list. So we'll see how that works out. If not, I'm going to make it to a baking class for you. <laughs> so there's that. But anyway, that's 2024. If you want to put in the chat, some things that you got planned for 2024, that's cool. Maybe you, hey, you know, if you, you ain't learn how to swim, maybe we're going to learn how to swim together. Uh, I see Rolanda. She learned how to do her makeup last year. Yeah, Rolanda, I've been seeing you with your makeup. Girl, I'm going to get there one day. I just ain't there yet. Okay? I'm not there yet. Um, but anyway, um, so this title of this came from something. Actually, I've been reading it a lot of times. Oh, well, that's what I've, that's what has happened. My life has inspired me to do, write two books, start a company, like do all the things. And so... The title came from a book that I'm reading now just for my own personal um, development. And it's actually one of the recommended books in my book that I list in Girl, Forget All That. Did you know that? Did you know that I have suggested readings at the back of my book? Okay. So when you get done reading my book, you can go check out some other books as well that will be helpful to you in the one I'm coming from today is one of those books. Um, it's called Fiercely Love. Fiercely Love. But before I get, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk about that. And then I'll get to some updates at the end of the live. So, God has thoughts about us. God always has thoughts about us. He's always thinking about us. And, um, and when you are making, if you're that person, if you're someone that makes new year's goals or whatever you want to call them resolution whatever you call them um you need to think about what god is thinking about you in this season whether it be 2024 2025 like whenever he already has an agenda set out for you so we need to tap into what that is and so i'm i said i was gonna read all of it but i may not so let me just let's see where it goes it says and it's coming from the scripture Psalms 39, 139, 17 through 18. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. If I will count them, they are more than the sand. I awake I am, and I am still with you. And that's the scripture. So she says, uh, the author says, now let's talk about those thoughts. Your thoughts here refers to our father's thoughts. It's true that God most high has ideas about, the, about you that are so rare and beautiful. They are outside your human comprehension. So what you think about yourself, God is thinking about you beyond that. Like the good you think about yourself, he's going even beyond that. 
What is he thinking? Thoughts of love, thoughts of joy, thoughts of peace, thoughts of grace, thoughts of mercy, thoughts of creation, thoughts of goodness, thoughts of care. Not only are these thoughts precious, they are innumerable. The task of beginning to number God's thoughts is just as, as impossible as counting the sands of the seas. His thoughts never leave us. They are as constant as his love. Fiercely, fiercely loved one, you have always been, you are, and you will always be on his mind. You're always on my mind. Okay, y'all. So if you if you if you hang around me long enough, our song is gonna come out. And this just that's what just happened just now. Um, and that's an SWV song. So when I when I read that, he said, I'm always on his mind. So what do I need to know? What what he thinking about me? He's thinking thoughts of love, thoughts of joy, thoughts of peace, thoughts of grace, thoughts of mercy. So these what this is what he's thinking about us. He wants to love us. He wants to give us peace, joy, grace, mercy, creation, thoughts of goodness, thoughts of care. So even though life is life, yes, life can be very interesting. Um, but God is all about loving on us, showing the mercy, um, bringing us out of whatever we have. Or whether we came into a storm by our, on our own, we brought the storm onto us, or the storm came just came because that's just life. But God is all about bringing us out of the storm, out of trouble. Uh, Cause he's all about love, peace, joy. He wants us to be happy, joyful. He doesn't want us to be sad. Um, like he said, he would give us um, um, a garment of praise, and if we give him a spirit, the spirit of heaviness, take give him your heaviness, and he's gonna give you a garment of praise. Hey, E six coaching, but he has thought they are so precious about us. Like you know, if you want to know what God is thinking about you, you want to know he's thinking more than what you even like your your bestest friend your your father, your mother, your whoever you think that thinks so highly of you. God is even beyond that. He's beyond that because it says it right here. We're always on his mind. So when I when I'm talking about healing from a breakup, um you prop you might wonder, is my ex thinking about me? Does he miss me? But it doesn't matter because guess what? You are always on God's mind. <laughs> the man the man the guy who created the whole universe, you are always on his mind and not just on his mind he's thinking about loving you showing you peace showing grace and mercy so now when you think about what you got planned for this year and what god's thoughts are he what he wants to give you is going to bring you peace so we need to tap into okay is this something i want to do and if it's not bringing me peace why am i doing it because god said he's, he got thoughts of peace uh for me and he said if you keep your mind stayed on him He'll keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your goals or your plans for your life, your year, whatever, on what he's got going on, it's going to bring peace. Now, this is what I do know. This is what I do know because of just going through life in general. When you do tap into the things that God wants you to do, there will be um, some opposition. There will be some opposition. You have to pause there. There will be plenty of opposition. But, there's a but. But, um in even though there's opposition you have victory that's part of your identity in christ and if you're uh watching this you didn't know that but now you know like you have victory over the opposition it's, it's a fixed fight um and i'm not just saying it because i read the bible i'm saying it because i have lived pat beyond the op I walk through the opposition and got the victory over a lot of things and so no i don't know what's gonna happen in 2024 i didn't know what's gonna happen in 2023 the first week of 2023 was off the chain and it went crazy the rest <laughs> the rest of the year and so but a lot of great things happen um and but i'm glad that year is over um but again um that that last year has prepared me for what may or may not come this year so let's just one thing that um trouble has taught me is to be still and to you know how not to say that when things happen i don't get upset or sad or angry or frustrated it's just that now i know how to handle it like one of the things i definitely need is community um people around you that are going to remind you of there's a light at the end of the tunnel and then prayer. It's just so many things that help when life happens. And so life is life is definitely gonna happen. But anyway, if you don't have this book, uh, Fiercely Love, and I actually really like this cover. This cover was kind of an inspiration 
where I was using as inspiration to my book cover when I was first thinking about designing the cover. But anyway, um, that's that. Of course, I love to read because what well, author does not love to read? So I do have some books in mind for 2024. I won't share all of them as, well, maybe at the end of the year, but as there's some I've started that I won't share yet. But this one, this is my first Sarah Jakes book. Sarah Jakes book. I never bought her book. I bought T.D. Jakes book, but I never bought Sarah Jakes book. So I am very excited about um this. I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I just knew that and it was on sale too. So um yeah, I just feel like I need I need this book. <laughs> so this year for whatever reason. And um like there's a lot of times I read books and I don't know why I read them, but when light when the year went by I realized, oh, this is why I need to read about this because it's going to prepare me for this. Um, and y'all yeah, really like the size of this book. This is, this, if you're author, you know, you, you probably look, if you're author, you probably look at book sizes, how the thickness of a book, the covers of a book. I just, I just do. So, but I, I like that size. So I can throw it in my purse. But anyway, um, so what's new for 2024? Some things are new and some things are kind of revamped. Like I told y'all, you talk to me long enough, I'm going to sing a song that's related to our conversation. And so with that being said, I am bringing back the song of the week, but it used to be, I forgot what day I had it on y'all, but <laughs> it looks a little different. It's going to be called Music Monday. So it's going to, the song of the week is going to come on a Monday um, in top of the morning. My goal is to put out the song of the week before I leave for work. So I'm going to pray for myself about that. <laughs> post the song of the week before because it's nothing like some some mondays i want to hear music some monday mornings i want to hear a sermon some mondays i want to hear a podcast like i don't know some 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 more monday mornings i don't want to hear nothing but it's me in the car driving to work so um you know so if you're that person that wants to hear music in the morning then music monday would be perfect for you to start your day off your week off all of that so music was very helpful for me in my healing journey um so I had to, there's no way I could leave out music on this platform. There's absolutely no way. So, and I went to a lot of concerts last year, y'all. And concerts were on a vision board I did in 20, uh, 2022. Yeah, 2022, I put a music sign there that I want to go to my concerts. And that, and that, and yeah, I went to a lot of concerts. Started 2022, rolled over to 2023. Um, there are some I'm going to want to go to in 2024, but it's not as, it, so we'll see about that. But that's kind of what happened with that. If you did a vision board, let me know in the chat if you've done a vision board. Um, if you want to share some of the things on your vision board, it's up to you. But, um, so song of the week, back to song of the week. Yeah, so music could not be left out. So, and it, it'll be, it could be a gospel song, it can be a, maybe an R&B song, like a mix of just songs that I use during the journey of healing songs i've added to it even though i'm not currently healing from a breakup there are still songs that i hear that i say okay this can be added to the girl forget out of the playlist and there you go so anyway um that's monday tuesday uh it's fat tuesday y'all fat tuesday forget all that tuesdays it's coming back this tuesday um so i'm sharing words of wisdom from my book girl forget all that um, it, it can be about the beginning of that relationship. It can be about the healing process. It can be about blessing from the breakup, like just words of wisdom from this book. So you want to tune in to that. Um, it'll be posted here, Facebook and YouTube. So I'm working on that. So that's Fat Tuesday, y'all. Forget all that Tuesday. So mark your calendar for Fat Tuesday. Now I got to figure out a time when it will post on Tuesday. So just stay tuned for that. Um, now, also, you've been following me for a while. You know that I am love mugs, okay? So, I buy mugs for Christmas. I got like 10,000 Christmas mugs, y'all. So, um, <laughs> I buy mugs for different holidays, um, particularly Christmas. I did start buying one for Thanksgiving. Um, Valentine's Day, I do have a mug for Valentine's Day. Only one, but Christmas has the most mugs. And then I just have mugs that's just regular mugs. Um, but 
I knew I wanted to get a mug with my girl forget all that to, uh, on it. And I finally did. And here it is. And it's absolutely beautiful. So if you're not drinking your tea, your coffee, or your cocoa out of this, then you really ain't doing nothing. Okay. So <laughs> um yeah, so this is my new mug. This is mine. Um I and then I like how I could do a black lining. I, versus the white it did show one with the white but i just it wasn't it hit different right at the black to it so i was like i i'm i'm in love with the black trimming um so i got it all the way around it turned out perfect the first time around so um if this is something that you all will be interested in having please send me a a dm um because i think once you come in and here well if you're watching the replay you can come in i'll see it but as you're coming on the live it's not going to uh, be there anymore. I don't think unless Instagram has updated something. But yeah, this is my mug. I've been drunk out of it um, a lot <laughs> since I got it. But I've actually had it almost a month now. And um, it's been a dishwasher. I've washed it. Macworth, so all the things I've done. And I love it. Um, yeah, it's just, I love it. I don't know if I changed the design, but I just think it's perfect as it is. So that's something I have worked on. Then there's some other things I want to work on in like a month or two that I think that you all would like as well. But let me know about the mugs. Um, but that's it, y'all. We're uh, Fat Tuesday, Song of the Week. Um, until I can get a group on my schedule, may, I'll bring back Wild Wednesday, Woman of Worth Wednesday. But at this moment, Woman of Worth Wednesday is not on hold. For right now so y'all it takes a lot of time <laughs> to do several things so i have learned that Chanel, you need to get used to the transition that you are in before you start something else start something new or bring back something so that way that um i won't be like overwhelmed or just doing stuff it's just all over the place or just burnt out so hopefully Fat Tuesday and Song of the Week are things that I will be able to handle. Um, I think so. Um, if I just get my schedule right. Anyways, that's all I have. Happy Saturday. Um, I told you I was trying to do too much this morning, but uh, I probably post what I was trying to do later. Because <laughs> I still got to finish doing it when I get off this live. I was supposed to be done before that, but that... That none of this, none of this work out, and and I gotta, I don't know what the song of the week is gonna be yet, but y'all already heard me saying, you're always on my mind. I don't know a gospel song that talks about be us being on God, God's night. <laughs> I just say <laughs> song of the week, R.B. or gospel for I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Today is Saturday, so I, I I better know about tomorrow night what the song is gonna be. So I'm gonna have to go through. I may not have to go through my playlist um to find out what song. I might, it may just come to me in randomly um what it will be. So and I'm trying to think. I've got some. You know what? People have sent me a post of breakup songs that I didn't think about, and so some of them are pop songs. Well, it's not, I don't think it's five pop songs on there, but the majority of the songs on the playlist um, is R&B and gospel, and then it's probably like two pop songs, <laughs> But, um, yeah, so definitely a lot of my favorite artists on there. So I have no idea what the song is going to be um, Monday. I don't know. So, guess y'all have to find out on Monday what it's going to be. And it's probably going to post around uh, 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. Like, early, y'all. <laughs> early. But um, thank y'all for tuning in. I got to go. Get out of here. Get the rest of this day going. And I will... Thank you for tuning in. And so, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. And Happy New Year again.